Hello everybody, this is Brian Johnson with MyAffiliatePrograms.com and I hope you find these videos helpful. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'd love to hear your comments. Feel free to also post any ideas or anything you'd like to hear about on my website. So this is part two about search engines, indexing, supplemental issues, and optimizing your website in a smart way, coming up with a game plan and understanding how the process, the process Google takes when they do index your site. And if you know ahead of time what things are going to happen, it's a lot easier to plan for those accordingly and decide what is important to get in the regular index right off the bat. So in the last video, we talked about domain age and just how stiff the competition is and how Google values older sites. We talked about incoming links and things like that. And we also talked about the supplemental issues. Now, here's what I've noticed. I, t I t told you a little bit about the last video, the last website I launched, which was basically designed to sell uh, costumes and to provide people with ideas for Halloween costumes based on a pirate costume. Now in the last three months I've launched a bunch of new sites and if, if it's a brand new site what I've seen time and time again is that Google is going to basically index the first nine to ten pages that they find. They don't care which pages those are. To Google, a, a web document or a web page is a web page, and they don't have any criteria like you do for your website. So how does this come into play? Well, I'm a big advocate, and I know many, many are as well, of WordPress. So if you launch a brand new website based on WordPress, you're going to have a page where you can go and log into your website, your, your back end, and you're going to be able to perform the functions of adding new content, whatever, adding links, blog rolling someone, adding a new category. Now, you can reach that page usually by a link on your website that says admin. Now, if you click that link, you go to the page that's your login. Now, how many people have that page indexed by Google? I'm, I'm guessing there's a lot of you out there that have that page indexed in Google. And for me, right, Right off the bat, there's one page. So if Google gives us 10 pages to get indexed with a brand new domain, I sure don't need my, uh, my login index. There's no reason for that except it just helps hackers find where they could log in and try to bust into my site. Not that they're going to be able to, but it just doesn't make any sense. It's much more effective and it, it makes a lot more sense rather to, for me to come up with a, a list of maybe 50 keywords that I'm going to target and then write content about those 50 keywords. And at that point, I can narrow the list down from 50, which at, when the site is quote unquote done, it'll be 50 pages. I can narrow it down to the first 10 pages and I can make sure that my first 10 pages are all based on keywords that I want to be focused on. In other words, pages that I want to be indexed by Google fully, I don't want them supplemental. So what I would do as I would look for the real low-hanging fruit. I would create those pages first and then I'd walk away. I'd make sure those pages all got indexed and then I'd come back and I'd slowly add, add content. Really, that's the best way to do it too, if you think about it. Google loves fresh content. So if you start out with a 10-page website, that looks very natural to Google. You're not launching with a 1,000 pages. We did that kind of stuff back in 2003 and it's just not effective anymore. So launch with a small, reasonable number, three pages, ten pages, five pages. And at that point, take a step back and right away start thinking about links. If you're developing a resource that you're going to work on for years and years and you're serious about it, think about getting links from the Yahoo directory. $300 a year. That comes out to about $10, a, no, what is it, uh, $30 a month or so. So at that point, it's basically figure, can you make a dollar a day from your new website? And if you feel comfortable that within a couple months, you'll be able to earn a dollar a day in revenue, there's no reason why you shouldn't get a Yahoo link. I have never been turned down. I have about four or five of those myself, and they do help my rankings. There's no question about it. And Google looks 
for length and trying to assess what pages are deemed relevant, what pages are deemed authoritative, all these kind of words we hear about. So when you sign up and you're willing to pay 300 bucks out of your pocket, don't you think that sends a signal to Google, hey, this guy's willing to cough up $300? It's probably not a black hat site because who's going to want to spend $300 when a black hat would probably love to be able to make 300 bucks on a black hat site they kicked out in a few hours before it got de-indexed. Then they'd move on to the next one and so on and so on. So think about that. When you start off with a WordPress site or any other type of a site, make sure that you're not allowing Google access to pages of, like about us or your privacy policy or your login uh, administration panel through WordPress. Now what I've done is I've actually created myself what I call a custom install for WordPress. I've got a ton of personalized hacks that I use um, to control meta information. I actually have came up with a hack. It took me hours to figure out, but depending on what page is created by WordPress, it puts in either a, a meta index follow or no index follow tag, and that tells Google to either index this page and follow the links to the next page, or don't index this page, but I'm fine if you want to follow the links on this page to my other pages. So that's great for trying to control duplicate penalties. And it's also great for trying to control pages like your About Us and Privacy Policy. There's no reason why you want to get those indexed right off the bat. If you count up all those kind of pages, you're going to come up with three, four, five pages that are just pure fluff and they don't have any, uh, any ranking power to them. And then you're putting yourself at really a disadvantage. So instead, come up with your list. Make sure your, your theme is optimized. Make sure you launch, if you're doing static HTML pages, launch with your first 10 pages based on keyword searches. Then come in and start adding your privacy policy and these other kinds of pages. Because nine times out of 10, they're going supplemental anyway. It's just really a smart move. Um, so anyway, that's kind of part two on the supplemental issues and how to be smart about structuring your brand new website launch. And I hope you found this uh, helpful. So take care and we'll see you on the next video.